Okay, so this is my first ever, well not my first ever because I have probably tried to shoot this tutorial about 10 times, but this is my first ever time that it's actually going to work and I'm actually going to do it and I'm actually going to go through with it and I'm actually going to post it. I'm posting this one, period. I'm just going to show you how I do my everyday look. This look I'll wear to the mall, brunch. Anywhere I'll wear this look. It's literally my go-to look whenever I just need to get cute for like a quick moment. So let's get into the video. So I like to start off with this Mario Badescu. I don't know if you can see it. Y'all, this is not one of them little fancy cameras. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll try to put it up in like the side over here or something. But I like to start off with this Mario Badesco. It just hydrates my face. It's just aloe herbs and uh, rose water. And it just makes me feel all good and fresh and just, ooh. I so I normally spray that on my face and then I let that dry for a little bit. Ooh, I need my fan. Let me go get my fan. Ooh. <laughs> Looking like Cheyenne say period. You know, we got to make this a, like a photo shoot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So now that's dry. That kind of messed up my hair actually. I like to do a tinted moisturizer on my face because it's just sheer. It's not too heavy. Um, a lot of foundations are very heavy. And if you have naturally like decent skin or you, you don't have that many that much acne or a lot of blemishes it's really really good to use a tinted moisturizer instead of putting heavy foundation on your face um because i need to cover up some of these spots so oh i'm so mad at this right here so i had a pimple and i popped it do not pop your pimples i can't believe i even popped it because i normally don't but i was just going on a popping spree this day because I got on my period and I just was popping up pimples everywhere this month. And um, so you see these little dark spots. So I have three or four. One down here. Yeah, I just went on a popping spree. And normally my face doesn't get dark spots from popping my pimples, but sometimes it does. And I was just taking the risk this time. And yeah, I have these little dark spots. So. We're gonna use this tinted moisturizer to cover up those spots. This is Lancome Skin Feels Good. It's literally like skin. I love, 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 love this. So I'm gonna take my little palette. This is really a candle holder, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Lancome Skin Feels Good Put it on my little palette, and then I mix it with Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm gonna put some Laura Mercier Primer on my face. It's just oil-free foundation primer, but it works really good. It said it's oil-free, but a whole bunch of oil just came out, so I don't know. Anyways, I still like it. So. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And now I'm gonna take my little coral reef looking foundation brush from Tarte, I love this. And mix my tinted moisturizer together. I normally put the Cetaphil moisturizer lotion in with my tinted moisturizer just so it could be a little more sheer on my face. So I'm just gonna put this all over. This brush is really soft. It's picking up a lot of makeup though. I wasn't, I normally don't go this heavy on my face with it, but it scooped up like the whole thing. So we just gonna try to smooth this out as much as possible. This is my first time using this, so I didn't know that it did that. Make sure you get like underneath your chin area. 
Yeah, this put a lot of coverage on my face. So. Because I just, I, you don't want to look too heavy and too, too done for this natural look. Oh yeah, it's making it look kind of thick. Hold on. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of take some of this off, but rub it in at the same time. I normally use my beauty blender, but I was trying to be fancy and act like I use a foundation brush. I don't. Um, <laughs> so that's what I get. So, okay, that's way better. You see the difference? You see how I was looking so like thick at first? Okay. It's a really nice brush. It just, I have to next time know that I don't need to swirl the whole brush in it because it picks up so much without you even having to really put the brush all the way through the mixture. Okay, so now that we have that, you see how you can still see a little bit of the dark spots? So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Skin Feels Good Again, just put a little on my, on my palette. And I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, tap it, and just tap on the areas that I still see blemishes. So, you kinda like tap and then pat it in. You don't wanna like rub it in, because basically we're just trying to put extra coverage on those blemishes areas to cover them up. But you still wanna make sure that it's blended really nice. So you see how you can kinda see it, but you can't really see it as much. It's, it's a little more faint now. So yeah. So next, I go in with my concealer. This is my MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Stick NC45. This is amazing. I love this concealer. It literally goes on like butter. Like, you'll see, like it's so bomb. So I just make a triangle right underneath my eye. You don't wanna go all the way down here with your concealer. I know some people like that, but hey, if you prefer that, cool. But just to let you know, uh, when you're doing your concealer, everything light jumps out and everything dark pushes back and like sucks in basically. And so when you're putting your concealer all the way down here and then you're putting your contour all the way down here, when the light hits, like if a flash hits you or something, it's gonna look like you have five o'clock shadow. You know those girls that it'd be like super light right here and then it'd be like super dark down here and it just looks like they have five o'clock shadow, it's because they put their concealer down too far basically. So, um, I actually put this one down kind of far. Just a little stripe, then I make three up here. And then two down here. And that's how I put my concealer on. Then I'm gonna use my damp beauty blending sponge. I'm gonna use a different one because I use the other one for my foundation. And I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. Blending is like key. You wanna blend to the gods. You know how they say beat your face to the gods? You really wanna blend to the gods because blending will save you. Like Even if you are not that great in doing your makeup, if you can blend your butt off, it'll make you look like you better than you are, you know? So you just wanna blend that all in. And I like this beauty blending sponge because it came in the queen box. I don't know if you can see, but it says queen. And you know I'm all about women empowerment and queens, so I just love that. Everything still looks very, very natural, and it doesn't really look like I've done too much because my concealer is only a couple of shades lighter than me. 
you don't want your concealer to be 10 shades lighter than you because that's not how concealer is supposed to work. Concealer is not supposed to make you look like a ghost or make you look light skin. It's only supposed to brighten areas and highlight certain areas. Not make you have a whole different complexion. Okay? So, after we do that, I like to contour after I do my concealer. So I'm going to take the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Contour and Correct Expert. The, the top broke off, so don't judge. But, yeah. And I'm going to use these two colors right here. You can't really see it, but these two. And I'm just going to mix those together. I, use, I like to use this little brush because it's just, I don't know, it's just like, it's easy to work with and it's like, it just works really good. I don't know. It's thin and I just like it. So I'm going to start off by contouring my nose. I normally do my cheeks first, but we just going to do the nose because I said it. So I'm going to go down the bridge in my nose. But if you already have a prominent bridge, you don't have to start all the way up here with your contour on your nose. You can start further down here because the contour is supposed to, like I said, it makes dark, makes everything push back and light brings everything forward. So when the flash hits, it's gonna look like you have a more prominent bridge in your nose than it being more widened there's nothing wrong with a wide nose but that's really what contour is for it's just creating those dark shadows to create a more defined look so it just defines your nose more so if you already have a prominent bridge and a very defined nose already then you don't need to start your contour all up here all the way up here for your nose because it's just going to make it look more harsh so for my contour and my cheeks kissy face and then you smile so it's like kiss and then smile with it it looks really funny but you basically want to get your contour right underneath the cheekbone and when you make that face it helps you see the line that you need to contour so you just want to make like a little Nike sign so kissy face and then smile you see how you can see that little line? That's where you want to put your contour. Because we're defining the cheekbones when we do contour. And even if you don't have cheekbones, it will create a cheekbone looking effect like you do. And I don't really have super, super duper prominent cheekbones. So I like to contour my cheeks. And then I'm just gonna do, y'all my baby hair is just laid right now so I don't wanna really mess them up. So I'm gonna just lift this up a little bit and put some contour up here. I'm gonna just do a little line across. And then I put some on my jawline. Right there. Then we're gonna blend, blend, blend that in again. And then my nose. So when you're blending your nose, you want to keep this um, this concealer that you put in your nose light. You're basically just trying to create a shadow around your concealer that you put on your nose. So you want to blend towards this way. So yeah, that's the whole point of contour. Even though it's like a trend to like be able to see your contour that's not really what it's meant for it's meant to create shadows in your face so when the flash hits and stuff you can see 
the dimensions where it's like, ooh, some of her highlighted areas pop out and it's just supposed to enhance your natural features that you already have. It's not really supposed to just make you look more harsh, but some people do, some people like it. It's totally up to you. After I do all that, I like to move on to my brows. I don't have anything in my brows right now. My brows are just kind of naturally thick, but I do have a few holes and stuff, so I'm still gonna put some eyebrow filler in my brows. I do not like super perfect, prominent brows. I like my brows to look natural and but still look like defined and good so i don't do that concealer stuff under the brow and make it super perfect and stuff like that i just don't do that i think it looks pretty on some people but i just personally it's not a personal preference for me i like to have natural looking brows couples is knocked out can y'all hear her snoring in the back i'm gonna take the maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade this is in deep brown and it comes with a little brush so it has a spoolie on the end and then, and then the part where you do your brows on the other end so i'm just gonna take a little bit of it and fill in my little holes and gaps and make my brows a little bit more defined and i'm just gonna lightly brush the strokes through because i don't want my brows to be super dark Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just gonna blend that in with the other end of my spoolie. See how good that still looks? I just like a natural looking brow. I don't like that super contour brow look on me. It works for some people. I think it's really pretty on some people. I just don't prefer it. More natural looking, the better to me. All right, so you see where these little holes and gaps, I'm just gonna fill those in. So now that my baby hairs are nice and laid, I can take that scarf off. So I just finished my brows, filling in my brows. Okay. Okay. Now, we gonna move on to the eyes next. So like I said, this is my everyday go-to natural look. I'm gonna take this for my eye makeup. It is Full Spectrum CoverGirl Cheek Palette. It's really for highlight and your blush, but I'm gonna use this middle one for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this gold one in the middle, and I'm just gonna use this old school little eyeshadow brush that we used to use back in middle school, because it still works. Still a classic and it still works wonders, okay? So I'm just gonna take a little of this and do my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put this all over my eye. And I'm just gonna stay right under my brow bone when I apply my eyeshadow. And then I'm also gonna do the inner corner of my eye just to give it a little pop, you know what I mean? So now that I apply my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna blend it in. Like I said, we gonna blend, blend, blend to the gods cause this is too harsh looking. It just don't look good. So we gonna, we gonna blend it in. Make it look really, really natural and glowy. So I'm just gonna take this brush and just blend. And I'm still staying under my brow bone right here. I'm staying underneath that bone. I'm not going past that brow bone. I'm taking it right underneath. And then as I blend, I'm gonna wipe the excess on a paper towel before I blend in the other side. And just like that. Like I said, this is super natural. We're not doing any extra eye makeup today. 
This is just my natural look when I need something quick to just get up and go and look cute. We're definitely gonna get into more dramatic makeup looks later on in my channel, so definitely stay tuned. So after I do my eyeshadow, I'm just going to add my lashes so I can be popping. And if you don't know, I have my own company called VIP Lash Extensions. I do lash extensions, I sell lash strips, and I also have an added luxury press-on nail extension line. And these are one of the styles. These are the blue flames. You can get these on my website at www.viplashextensions.com. I will link that below. And today, I'll be wearing Classic Queen. And it comes in such a cute glittery box. So, when you are putting on lashes, I'm gonna give a full lash strip tutorial later on in my channel so stay tuned but today i'm gonna just give you a couple of jewels when you are putting on lashes you want to turn the pack around this is a last jewel because i did not know this for the longest 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 time it's supposed to look on you how it looks in the pack so instead of looking at the lashes this way you want to turn them this way and this goes on your right and this goes on your left but if you look at it this way, you're gonna think, oh, this one goes on my right and this one goes on my left. But no, it's not. It's, th it's this way. <laughs> so that will prevent you from putting on your lashes backwards. I have put on my lashes backwards plenty of times. So I don't know if everyone knew that, but I didn't know that for the longest. I don't know if that's supposed to be common knowledge or something. Okay, so I don't know if this happens to anybody, but I hate when I put on lash strip. You can kind of see the eyeshadow on the lash strip. Oh my goodness, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. I cannot stand that. So I'm just gonna take my eyeliner and fill in those little areas where it has eyeshadow fallout that got caught on the lash. This is just a little trick that you can do when that happens to you. So I'm just gonna take this little eyeliner pen and just fill the areas that did get eyeshadow caught on the lash. I'm not really putting eyeliner on my actual eye line because I'm just not doing that look today. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it just kind of cleans it up a little bit on this eye. So now I'm just gonna do this eye. So now you see when I look down, you can't really see the eyeshadow followed as much. That's just a little tip and trick that if you wanna use just so your makeup could just look nice and clean. So now I'm just gonna put a little bottom mascara on my eyelashes. And I'm gonna use the Voluminous L'Oreal Paris Mascara for my bottom lashes. So I'm just gonna go zigzag downward on my lashes. And it already has like a little curve on the mascara brush that just makes it a little easier. So you're just gonna zigzag down. I like to put bottom mascara on because if you just have top lashes on, it just doesn't look all the way complete. To me, it just looks like something's missing. So I like to add bottom mascara just to make the eye pop a little more. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on the top. So I'm just gonna zigzag again upward. But I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting the base of my of the lash where my natural lashes are really good so that part can be nice and black. And another trick is to twist your mascara top out instead of pumping it because if you twist it, it'll help the mascara last longer because it won't 
get so many air bubbles in it so it won't dry out as fast. Just a little trick and tip, tip and trick. <laughs> So I always like to keep little Q-tips on hand because once you put on battle mascara, if you kind of get some on your skin, Q-tips work as magic erasers basically and they'll it'll just clean up all the areas that you messed up on your mascara and it'll just erase it like it wasn't even there without it getting all messy and I just really love that. So I'm just gonna go around the areas that I got a little mascara at the bottom and just clean up. Yeah, I love adding mascara because it just makes the look a little more complete. So now I'm going to apply my blush and I'm gonna take the same Full Spectrum CoverGirl Sculpt Expert in this color to apply my blush. Not everyone applies blush, but I like to apply blush because it just gives a little more pop to the look. I just like to have rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to smile. I'm going to use my finger for this. So I'm literally just going to use my finger to take a little bit and just apply it on my cheeks. You just want to apply, you just want to smile and apply it on the apple of your cheeks. Just a small circle. And then you just wanna blend it in. All right. See, it just kicks up the look a little bit more. All right, so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlighter. Like I said, this is a natural look, so I don't go, well, I never go crazy with a highlighter because I don't like to look like a highlighter. You know what I mean? Um. But, I'm going to go in with my NYX Born to Glow Highlighting Palette. And I'm going to use this gold looking color right here. And I'm just going to lightly put it on my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going to take some, dust it off, and smile. All right, I got a little highlighter, a little blush, and a little bottom mascara. I know people on Instagram and YouTube love to bake their makeup nowadays. And baking is basically when you when you see girls take the powder and like bake it on their face, basically. I don't like doing that because in person, it just looks kind of cakey and a little flat and a little matte looking. And it just looks kind of thick in person. So I just like to put a little powder on the end. So I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Loose Powder and put a little bit in the top of the lid. Just a little bit. Ooh, not that much. <laughs> just a little bit. And I'm just gonna take my sponge and literally just a corner of it, dab it into my powder. And then I'm gonna dab it on my hand to get all that extra loose powder off. And then I'm gonna apply it. So literally just a little powder I'm applying to my face. So. I forgot my lips. <laughs> I'm gonna do my lips next because I forgot about the lip gloss. I'm gonna make sure I get my T-zone really good because that's the part that oils up the fastest. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the powder makes it a little more matte. So I'm gonna bring it back dewy with my NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. 
All right. Whew. And I'm gonna let that dry. And as you can see, it just looks dewy again. It just looks like my natural skin again when I add the finishing spray to it. So since I forgot to do my lips, I'm going to add my lips. And today I'm using B. Simone's lip gloss in B. Simone tone. I really, really love this lip gloss. It has a really good consistency and a really nice um, pink tone to it. And I just wanted to support her. Like, she has really came up. She has did her thing. Like, I, she inspires me so much. Like, literally her whole story, her journey. Like, I just I just love her. I met her maybe, like, twice. And she probably definitely doesn't remember me. But she was just always so humble and just funny and cool. I got, a, like, a little bundle kit that came with, like, um, a variety of different lip glosses. And yeah, like it's a she's a black queen business owner doing her thing and she completely just came up and like now she's on her way to becoming a millionaire. So like her story definitely inspires me and I just wanted to show my support and get some of her lip gloss and I actually end up really liking it. So I'm just going to apply this lip gloss. And then I like to take my handy dandy Q-tip again and clean up the edges. All right guys, so this is the final look. All right guys, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my hair, you want to see how I laid this U-part wig. Yes, a U-part wig. It looks so natural and it's so easy to apply. You can check that video out in my next video on Tutorial Tuesday. If you have any more video suggestions, please comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in to this video and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.